Shalom and much blessings, everybody. What's on my mind today is that I want to talk about a lot of our Israelite uh, brothers and sisters having their own personal agenda in this awakening. It's something I've been thinking about a lot lately because, I mean, it's, it's something that's going on greatly among our people walking in this truth. And it's a big problem. And it's something that we actually need to remove from our spirits as we walk with the most high word, spreading the word among our people for them to move in, in the right direction. And what I want to say is, when it comes to putting out the most high word, putting out its truth, giving people an understanding, a better understanding, we got to remove our own personal agendas from among ourselves and do the most high will. We can't do the will of ourselves. When you have a personal agenda, that means you're doing the will of yourself. You're doing your own personal will. That's the part that we have to remove. And until we get rid of those type of demons within ourselves, it's gonna be hard for us to get to the next level. And that's something we need to work on so that we're able to move to a greater level. So, we're, so that we're able to move to the next level and function how we're supposed to function as a nation and as a body, as a unit, on one accord. One of the main agendas that I see going on in this awakening, there is, is many agendas, but one of the main agendas that I see this going on in this awakening is the fact that all of our people everywhere that we're scattered, we want to make whichever country we are scattered in among the heathen, we want to make that place our homeland. And that's a big problem. The Israelites in America, not, not all of them, but a portion of the Israelites in America wants to make America home. A portion of the Negro Israelites that's in South America wants to make South America home. Like they wants to make these two places Jerusalem. You got Israelites that's in Nigeria, throughout Bafra that wants to make that place Jerusalem. You got Israelites that's scattered in Ghana that wants to make that, that place Jerusalem. You got Israelites that's uh, scattered in the Congo, Cameroon, South Africa, all over the place. They want to make those places Jerusalem. And they want to push the narrative that all the Israelites are from that place and that's the real Jerusalem. Nobody wants to go back to the actual Jerusalem. I ain't gonna say nobody, but a portion of the people everywhere we are scattered, a lot of them don't want to go back to the real place. They want to make the place where they're living at, where they have been, where you know, where the places that we have been scattered into over the last 400 years and the, our people that's in Africa even longer than that, much longer. But they want to make these places home and it's not home. That's one of the biggest agendas that I see out here. And you got Israelites that's fighting among each other. You know, you come to America, they want to make us Native Americans and say, this is Jerusalem over here. And they don't like the Jerusalem, uh, they don't like the Israelites in another place saying that the Jerusalem is over there, whether it be Biafra or, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, or uh, uh, Biafra going against Ghana or Ghana going against Cameroon or the Congo going against everywhere in West Africa. I'm seeing this. And that's something that we got to stop. We got to stop that. You know, we got to get rid of that mentality so that we're able to move to the next level. You got to boot out your own personal, your own personal agenda. If we do this, we will move quicker. We will, be, we will become more sharper 
as a nation and more in line to getting on one accord as the Most High has directed us to do. So, you know, like I see a lot of Israelites, a lot of them, some of them don't have a spirit, some of them do have a spirit. But on both sides, I see a lot of them with their own agenda as in what they're trying to push. Some of them have certain callings for certain situations where the Most High has assigned them. And they're doing the work according to the Most High, but in the midst of that, they are interjecting their own personal agenda, trying to make it a part of what the Most High is telling them to do. And that's where they are going to mess up. The Israelites who are trying to do that, it's never going to work because you're going to piss the Most High off and you're going to fall. And when you fall, everybody who's following behind you falls with you. So when it comes to doing the Most High work, no matter how much you don't like it, you got to kick out your agenda and do His will, not your own personal will. Kick out everything about yourself uh, as to what you want to do and do what the Most High is telling you to do. When we all start to operate like that, we'll start to see more powerful things in the spiritual realm and we'll be able to move forward and operate as a nation on one accord according to the Most High will. So, that's what we need to do. That's something that we actually need to focus on in this walk. And that's what was on my mind. And I just felt like I should speak on it. And hopefully, many of us start to work on it. You gotta fight against yourself. You gotta fight against that demon in you that says, that's telling you to do your own personal will. That part of you that want to do what you want to do instead of what the Most High is telling you to do. But that was on my mind. So whoever hears this short message that is speaking to you, don't reject it. Listen to it. Instead of getting mad and start working on yourself and push out your agenda and do the Most High will as He is telling you to do, commanding you to do. If you do that, everybody around you benefit to it on a greater level. So anyway, family, I thank you for tuning in. Much love and blessings to all of you. And uh, shalom.